Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode 21 of Vatiku Wednesdays. So I remember several years back when I was a student at Delhi University, I used to, once every month, stand in line for an entire day to get my monthly bus pass made. And this was a pass that used to cost about 15 rupees or about $2 back then. And it was a pass that gave me free rides in all the Delhi Transport Corporation buses, which would have costed me a lot of money if I were to pay for all of those rides. So that was a good call. And I remember when I went to the US as a student, I didn't stand in line for any bus pass, but I do remember standing in line during Thanksgiving sale for an entire night, a cold winter night in Michigan, outside of Best Buy to find or buy my first laptop. And that saved me a lot of money as well. And I remember when I graduated out of ISB, I didn't stand in line for a laptop or a bus pass, but I did visit several car showrooms and spent a lot of time doing so to find the right car and the right price for that car because it was a meaningful purchase back then and it would save me a lot of money. It did. And when I look at myself today, I would happily buy something online, even if it's more expensive, to avoid going to a mall and spending time on it. I would happily buy my music or my movies instead of trying to find where a torrent could be and then waiting for it to get done and so on, which by the way, I used to do when I was a student because it just made economic sense back then. And I figured that over all these years, subconsciously, it's not that I was aware of it all through, I have at some point of time assigned a certain value to my time. At some point of time, there was certain value that I attached to my hour, to my day, to my month. And somehow I started trading against this time. I started making calls like, hey, if my hour is worth, say, a thousand bucks, then I will not spend more than an hour in trying to save those thousand bucks. I will not spend it on either bargaining, going to a certain spot, or trying to just spend time in finding ways of saving those thousand bucks, because guess what? My hour costs thousand bucks. But that's not how most of us think about it. We don't somehow, surprisingly, attach any value to our time. Which is crazy, right? Because if, if you were to see an individual walking on the street and out of their pockets are 100 and 500 rupee notes just flying out and they're aware of it, you would call that person crazy, right? You would. But if you saw that same person binge watching for six, seven, eight hours that evening on Netflix, Game of Fucking Thrones or something like that, or just spending their time whiling away, doing something which is meaningless in life, you would not blink an eyelid. You'll find that absolutely okay because you yourself would do it at some point of time. We don't somehow assign any value to our time. And I'm making two points here, which is very important. The first one is make sure that you spend or you spend time enough to understand what is the value of your time. It could be as simple as dividing your entire yearly compensation into 365 days and then 24 hours or whatnot. Or it could be some other smart way of doing it where equity is linked in or some natural growth or whatnot. But the fact is, start with a point that my per hour per day is worth this much. And then start consciously taking decisions based on this value. Trade things to save your time because your time is way more valuable than the time you will spend in trying to save money. And that way, you will hold yourself accountable for a certain value of your time. And the second thing then is it is your responsibility. It is our collective responsibility towards our own selves to see this value of time increasing disproportionately over years. The same Ankur Variku who would stand in line for an entire day would now not even think about doing it. Not because I've become rich, not because I have way more money, but because I have got myself to a point where I am handling, doing, and thinking about things on an hourly, daily, monthly basis that are creating more value than the time that I would spend on saving money somewhere else. Time is the only thing, the only, only thing in this world that will never ever come back. And the only thing else are humans. Think of this fact as I say it. Time and humans when gone never come back. And that's why they're precious. And as much as 
of the value that we attach to humans in our life and to our relationships, we ought to do the same thing with something that is equally important, if not more. And that's our time. Put a value to your time and make it a promise to keep increasing it every year. Until next year. Until next time. See you.